So although I wish I were here with better news, the fact is that you and I are sitting here today because uh, this will be your last week of employment. This is not an assessment of your productivity. You gotta try not to take this personally. Well, I just had a bad night. So although I wish I were here with them. Hey guys, this is your girl Melanie and I don't know if you saw the press conference. If that's what you can call it, the press conference that Joe Biden just did, but it was a rambling run on sentence about nothing except for when he decided, when he came out with well, his first question, this is his response. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Number one, the fact is that <clears throat> the consideration is that I think I'm the most qualified person to run for President. I beat him once and I will beat him again. Secondly, the idea, I served in the Senate a long time. The idea that senators and congressmen <clears throat> running for office worry about the ticket is not. Okay, so you saw there, let me play it again in case you, you missed it. He, he goes on and does this cough and he has this weird whisper voice that he does and it's creepy except for sometimes he bends down like this and looks like Pennywise and he stops and smiles and whispers. And then he goes back to normal. Did I creep you out just now? Well, that's what he does th throughout this press conference. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Number one. So that was like his first kind of gaffe is what they're calling it. He misspoke. There was a lot of mumble jumble throughout this entire thing. Um, it was quite embarrassing. Like, and, and the question he's reading off of, he's reading names. He has some notes. He can't, he's reading the reporter's names, people I've never heard of. It's a very short uh, press conference. And most of the questions were about Ukraine and about, you know, uh, about uh, foreign wars and all of that. Nothing about, you know, what's going on here in the United States. Certainly nothing about the border or anything that we want to hear about. It's literally every question was about something to do with Ukraine, a little bit about the, the war in Israel, a little bit, you know, um, and there are a few questions in there peppered in. Is he fit to be, is he fit to run for president? It was just an odd set of questions when I think this press conference was about his mental capacity and they just didn't go there. But this is another thing that he did earlier. Um, he did earlier today where there was another gaffe and just take a look at this. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> Loudly and clearly. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. <laughs> President Putin. You can beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President, I'm better. You are a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Thank you so much. He called President Zelensky President Putin. So we have Vice President Trump and President Putin right here. And we as Americans should just be like, mm, no problem. There's nothing going on here, nothing to see. Our president is competent right now. Then you tell me, can he run for more years? Can he? He's not fit to serve now. Now, going back into what happened at the press conference that just happened, and he was done with his questions. He only took a very few questions. This was a very brief press conference. I mean, he barely answered questions. It was, again, it's just one run-on sentence. If I were to play it, you would want to turn it off. It is, it is just a jumbled mess. He misspoke words. He mixed up ideas. He, he was answering one thing and then it would jump to another. It was just incoherent babble. But this is what is to be expected from somebody 
who has mental decline. It is, he needs to be in a convalescent home. But let's come and show you, they were able to try to jump him at the end of this press conference and ask him one final thing about that whole Vice President Trump uh, gaffe. You earlier explained confidence in your vice president. Yes. If your team came back and showed you data that she would fare better against former President Donald Trump, would you reconsider your decision to stay in the race? No, unless they came back and said, there's no way you can win. Me. No one's saying that. No poll says that. Okay. Thanks. This, this ends tonight's press conference. Thanks, everybody. This, this, con this concludes. Respectfully, earlier you misspoke in your opening answer. You referred to Vice President Harris as Vice President Trump. Right now, Donald Trump is using that to mock your age and your memory. How do you combat that criticism from tonight? Listen to him. This concludes tonight's press conference. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. That's our president. So Trump already took the opportunity to make fun of Biden by calling him Vice President Trump. And while he was about to leave after a very, very tiny uh, press conference, this is, he, he just, did you see his face? He was like, And then he says, listen to him. So we should listen to Trump. That is, that's what you're saying. So <laughs> y'all look what they have on Twitter. Vice president Trump is cool. who did this? Who did this? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. This is so bad. Okay, so I'm going to take you guys. I'm trying to find what Trump said. But look at this. It says the reaction from Biden's team when he called Kamala Vice President Trump. Absolutely priceless. Let's see. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she's not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Number one. The fact is that <clears throat> the consideration is I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she's not qualified to be President. So let's start there. Number one, the fact is that <clears throat> the consideration is so, <laughs> so the guy looks so weird, the rest of them are trying. He looks down, the other one puts it in his face, and I can't get over this picture of Vice President Trump. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Wait, a beautiful picture of Vice President Trump and President Putin. <laughs> Twitter, why are you doing this to me? Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this, but this is some. This is what Trump posted on True Social last night. Let's take a look at this. Hold on. Activity. So, although I wish I were here with better news. The fact is that you and I are sitting here today because uh, this will be your last week of employment. This is not an assessment of your productivity. You gotta try not to take this personally. Well, I just had a bad night. So although I wish I were here with better news, the fact is that you and I are sitting here today because uh, this will be your last week of employment. This is not an assessment of your productivity. You gotta try not to take this personally. Well, I just had a bad night. So although I wish I were here with better news. Oh my gosh, Twitter is the best, guys. All right, we're gonna keep digging at these memes and things. And again, I will show you Donald Trump what he's saying. So here goes something that Trump posted um, <laughs> on True Social as well. She, my, 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 of the, the chief of staff of the military, as well as the secretary of defense and our intelligence people. The chief, my, 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 of the, the chief of staff of the military, as well as the secretary of defense and our intelligence people. 
So this is actually what he posted on True Social with the Vice President Trump. He says, Crooked Joe begins with his big boy, which you guys don't know, they call it his big boy conference. I your big boy now, mommy. Um, press conference with, I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, though I think she was not qualified, though I think she was not qualified to be President. Great job, Joe. <laughs> It's a train wreck. It's an absolute train wreck. Between his mumbling, this the, the run-on sentences, the lost train of thought, you cannot follow anything he's saying coherently. It is, just goes on and on. You forget the question. I know he has no idea what the question was. He relates things that have nothing to do with it. And then he does, and I am gonna do a creepy whisper. That's essentially was the press conference other than like it's really it's it's it is the stuff that nightmares are made of just looking at his face i don't know what's going on because i thought i would bring you some laughs related to this make sure you subscribe and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye